our next guest really is uh, Abimbola. Uh, she's founder and director of Bimbo Family Affairs uh, Support Center. She's a lawyer, educator, writer, family life advocate, and counselor. She believes that if each of us can take responsibility for ourselves and our families, societies will thrive. Thank you for joining us. Indeed. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, I was doing some reading and research about family and family values and family relationships early this morning. And I picked up a few vital values. Um, without preempting you, um, I stumbled on valuing elders as number one. Would you? Would you think that was number one? Or that is number one? It depends on the perspective the person wrote that. You know, we, we look at things in different angles. So uh, it depends on the thought process of the person that wrote that, the environment of the person, the upbringing of the person, and where the person is at that point in time. For me personally, uh, it's very critical, critical and very important to has, have that as a core value. But I won't put as a top value. What would you put as top value? Oh, things like integrity. Something like integrity, honesty, um, those two will be very important to me as a person, as Abimbola Shomolu, mm -hmm. you know, okay. that, that's it. Now, I, I, I think I like the way you've put it because um, I have a little problem with models, sure. family models. And it will seem like, um, depending on which model you fit into, your values will be rearranged. Would that be correct? Yes. So, if we have the model of a single parent, mm. or name it, we have, we have myriads of, of models oh, yes. now, especially, you know, uh, in the Western world, mm. you know, where cultures are a little more liberal mm. and stuff like that. So, how do we, how do we balance these things out? Because, Model one or model A at some point meets with model D and you expect them to gel? They will not gel. They'll probably come together and form and come up with a model Z. That might even be oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so so what's how are we going to control all of this? You see, the the interesting thing about the question you asked, I'm sure the person is from an African background because we're very um, particular about, the particular about that, elders. about the elders. And I like to, rightly said, John, um, I think, first of all, who are you? Mm. It's very important. I mean, who are you? What, what do you want from life? Uh, what do you see about life? When you know who you are, what you want in life, where you want to go in life, then you can form the thought process of what you want to build in yourself and your family. Then in so doing, once you can have, you have your own identity and your own um, um, pathway of what you, you want, then you can then attract what can fit into that, of, uh, that um, thought process of what you want. Because we can't have everything. No. We can't. Even the values, there's some that are very, the first two, first three, that you say, this is, in this house, this mustn't happen. But when, especially when we're getting married, we're, we're extending a family connection. Yes. That you have to be very sure of what you need to fit into your system that will make it complete. Thank so you. So that is what I would say. So I think, mm. I think we need to be reflective, really, in life. We need to be reflective. Yes. And yes. we have different phases in life. So what might be important to me now, now mm -hmm. in the next 10, 20 years, might not be. Which is, why, which is the reason for my asking that question. And it's a good thing you've led us to this point. Because um, I've been trying, I'm still trying to unpack Charlie Boy. Mm. Yeah, I oh, think he's left, okay? He's left, yes. okay? But he's, we still need to unpack him a little further. Mm. You listened to his uh, session. Yes, I did. I wonder what neighbors were thinking in those days when he became obviously rebellious. Yes. 
he would appear to me to be someone who came ahead of his time. How do you profile him? I see him as a man that is true to himself and true to what he believes. I see him as somebody that has love around him in the midst of it all. I see him as somebody that has a good support system that made him be who he was. You know, he said a lot. He and said I have a lot. a lot of respect for him. Because mm. at the end of the day, he's the one sitting and we're listening to. Yeah. His parents have gone. Mm -hmm. He cared for his parents. So I don't think there's any um, I don't think there's any path or pattern that we must follow. Be true to who you are. Be true to yourself. Have something that keeps you going. And know that you're having your check moments in the midst of it all. Yes, things will backfire. Mm -hmm. Yes, things will go haywire. That's life. But at the end of the day, what I see is love. He had love. He's giving love. And he's particular to the people that matter to him. There's too much noise out there. There's too much hate out there. There's too much, uh, like my husband says, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has something to say. But guess what? In, the, in, in doing what, saying what they're saying, what would they do in that situation? So the most important thing is what Charlie Bond has shared. I grew up in a loving family. I went haywire in whatever way, which we all do in different ways, but it different in, it, it cuts across the different ways. I mean, and he, got, he had an accepting father that, of course, he struggled. His father must have struggled with a lot and the mother would have, especially in a society like us, that what would people say? Mm. We're more concerned. But, but you see, wait, wait. Don't, 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 don't let us fall, Conflict. don't let's fall in love with Charlie Boy just yet. Yes. Because many, many people mm. would see a lot of disruptive behavior yes. within the package. Yes. Which that, would not be that there's that so is, much that, noise out there. That's what I'm that saying. People are saying. You a know, lot of Charlie things. Boy was not in the closet, so he could express himself. Many people are in the closet. That's why we're having suicide rate high. That's why we're having depression. That's why we have people that are just angry. So what I'm just saying is that what is the status quo really? The most important thing is love and support. Because I'm going to go a bit spiritual. Even the prodigal son went away. He went away. He wanted to find his identity, find his life. But he came back, and who was waiting for him? His dad. So what I'm just trying to say is that we will deviate. We will move away from the norm. But what exactly is the norm? Who? Who? Who, who determines? Who determines the norm? And again, going back, when the uh, white people came into this country, due to the uh, Africa, they said they came with the gospel. But they took us back as slaves. So what are we really talking about? About what exactly is the norm? Who is right and who is wrong? Your heart has to tell you what is right. Your heart will lead you to some areas, dark areas. May you have the right support system to pull you out of that dark area. May you have somebody that is waiting and say, 50 years you went away, but you're back. That's what I do. I don't judge. I don't question. Yes, when it's something is wrong, you say what you need to say. You give space, you're in their space, and you just give love. Because we really don't know, at the end of the day, what it is that God is waiting for each one of us. It, it's, it's, it's interesting and so easy hearing you talk about love. And um, in those difficult times, give support and give love. It can be very difficult very. when there is conflict, when there's disrespect, when there's disobedience, when you think that your investment probably has gone the wrong way. Mm. Practically, how do you cope with it? You know, both people, we're talking family values, we're yes. talking family relationships. Yes. What is the relationship? What is the atmosphere mm. when things go sour, when there's mm. intense conflict in the family? There's a lot, you know, there's no ideal family. Never, there's never been an idea, and there will never be an ideal family. We'll work at it. I come into Shomolu home, my husband comes into my home. Mm. We receive each other, but we have imperfection amongst us. There, it's not, do you understand? And we're building children, even in our own imperfection, we're bringing up children in that imperfection. So there'll be a lot of hurt, and so many families are hurting. 
But at the end of the day, what really needs to happen? Somebody has to sacrifice more. That's life. Somebody has to be willing. Normally it's the mother, but at times it's the father. Somebody has to be willing to say, in the midst of this place, I will continue to pray. Mm -hmm. I will continue to communicate with my child. It's the act. It's not the child. The act that, you know, where different, even the baby that comes out, when they come out, when you start to feed the baby, the baby spits out, I don't want the milk. So do you, are you going to spank the baby and say, you're not my child. I didn't bring you up. You're, you're the values I brought. No. You find a way to coax the baby. Mm. To kind of help the baby. To kind of make the ch they sing song. Put on the music. Put on something. You oh, see? Abibola, mm -hmm. I don't yes. like where you've led me. Yeah, well, because, it's, your, it's what is happening against, inside. <laughs> yeah, against, it's tearing you up. Against the background of traditions yes. and family value. Mm. And it means that yeah, we're going to have to be introducing a lot of compromises as we move along. Yeah. Well, guess what? The only Life constant is, is change. Mm -hmm. Look at how the world is now. Look at our children. Look at what they're doing. Look you're at, making my daughter win this fight. Well, your oh daughter's era is here. The way our parents brought us up doesn't exist <laughs> anymore. So you need to listen more. In our own time, oh, we were no. not, yes, we were, we, were, we were more or less quiet. We don't express. You, they wink, our parents wink, we know the message. Now the children are saying, Mommy, what's wrong with your eyes? Do you understand me? <laughs> So it doesn't exist anymore. The world has gone crazy, John. It's and crazy. crazy is right. You know, so what we need to do is to change the system. Change it. And you know what I've realized? Like I said, it's about you, your family, that name. Call your children together. What do you, what do you all want? The, the listening on the right neighbor, left neighbor, should not affect what you are doing. The most important is my children, my legacy what they stand for. So that if one of your daughters dressed inappropriately outside, you knew when she was going out, you said, it's fine. I'm, it's decent enough for me. So when somebody called you and said, ah, John, your daughter, I saw that, that, that. Thank you very much. I saw how I dropped yeah. her off at the party. Yeah. So you shut them up. So when she comes back, I say, is, this, is, is, is the way I dropped you the way you were? No, daddy, I'm sorry. Honesty, integrity. Tell me how it is. I'll cover for you, but don't lie to me. So that's what I'm trying to say, that we don't, you see, the, we have to be able to accommodate a lot of things now. Because if we don't, the world will call them. Mm. And we don't want to lose them. And sure. we don't want, want to, to lose, lose them. them. We don't want to lose them. I think them. we're going to have to stick to that yes. word of advice, yes. Abimbola. Yes. Thank we you very much them. for what you just passed we on We will not us. lose them. Mm. 